Well, we shot the puck. I thought we, uh, we took advantage of opportunities to shoot the puck and not try to get even closer to the net or look for something better. And I think it started with uh, Santino when he, uh, you know, he didn't really have much of a play. He shot the puck, a uh, great rebound for Hancock's first goal, and it kind of got us going. Shoot, shoot the puck. The message tonight was uh, understand what you have around you. Make sure you understand uh, as a forward the opportunity that you have in the offensive zone and don't waste it by looking for something better. Take what's first given to you and, and let, let everything else happen around the rebounds. Well, it was very good. I mean, when you shoot the puck, good things happen. If you wait too long, uh, you know, you leave it up to chance. I thought we did a good job of taking the first opportunity to shoot the puck. And, uh, you know, obviously with the amount of goals we scored tonight, we want to try and, you know, build off of that for tomorrow. If we can do that tomorrow, I think we'd be real happy. Well, you know, I, I think Michael Michael was very focused right from the get-go. I didn't think we gave them many second and third chances, and and obviously for him to have some help from the goalpost on that penalty shot, I think was a huge confidence booster for him. Well, they they know what's at stake. I think they know understand that this team will play better. They'll have uh, a, you know a different goaltender in there tomorrow, and hopefully we save enough goals. This is my home, and here's my water heater, located right above my living room. And here's the mess it made when it burst. Kind of throws off the feng shui, don't you think? I kept calm, calm as I could be, and called the experts at Belfour. So there you have it. My living room before the accident, my living room after. Or as I like to think of it, my living room before Belfour, my living room after Belfour. Belfour. Your home, your life, our promise.